Hello, good morning, grade 8 students. This is Mr. Gamal with a new lesson, vocabulary. Uh, this is unit uh, 6 vocabulary that you have already learned or studied, as I told you uh, the last time. And uh, now, after you have studied the, this lesson and vocab items, the 20 words, now we have this exercise to work on together. Uh, all right, we'll work on together with some part of the exercise and you'll continue answering it yourself at home and send it on the LMS or my email by tomorrow or uh, tonight if you can. Uh, this exercise on unit 6, all right? If you haven't studied all the vocab yet, you can check your studying first, memorizing, and then you start with us. Um, you can test yourself uh, by yourself without my help and then come to listen to my help with the first five exercise or five uh, sentence choices all right um, I'll, I'll um, as I told you before when you come to choices like these choice of words don't be puzzled by the length or the difficulty or the vocabulary or the sentence or that you can't understand it wholly never mind about this you can answer or choose the right or the correct word uh, with the help of finding a clue, a clue word to help you choose which which one word is correct. Like I'll uh, I'll do this practice with you to understand and see this in practice. Uh, number one: If we were to lose the basic freedoms guaranteed by the Bill of Rights, we would be truly taunted or impoverished all right suppose the sentence difficult to understand all right try to pick some certain specific vocab items that can help me as a clue to help me choose the correct word what is this word lose all right lose freedoms if we were to lose freedoms if you lose freedom what would happen taunted or impoverished you will be what we will we would but we would be what taunted or impoverished all right it is impoverished yes correct if we lose our basic rights will be poor this is logic or this is something reasonable understood very easily number two uh, when I looked through the microscope I observed the incessant or intricate pattern of blood vessels in the specimen's body all right all right this is difficult difficult sentence to understand never mind find a clue look this is microscope uh, you see or observe observe what blood vessels you know blood vessels it's very tiny all right and very what very very a lot, a lot of um, an innumerable number of vessels. All right, you can get confused about which is which. All right, that's it. So it is what? What can you see? Incessant or intricate pattern of blood vessels in the body. Incessant, uh, an intricate. Yes, complicated. They are mixed together. All right, intricate. All right. So the word is intricate pattern of blood vessels all right number three the penniless adventurer is a character so familiar to fiction readers that further description of the type is sardonic or superfluous all right now um what what, what is the clue word here so familiar a character so familiar well known all right uh Further description will be what? Further description. Yeah, more description. <coughs> Sorry, more description. The character is so familiar. Why further description? So more description or further description will be what? Sardonic or superfluous? Yes, superfluous. More than necessary. We don't need it. All right. Uh, number four. Loss of blood very quickly. Turn it the victim's normally rosy face a uh, prim or ghastly hue of white. Okay, suppose you don't understand the sentence very quickly. 
try to pick a, a clue uh, what is that clue loss of blood all right this is bad thing turn the face uh, you, why turn the face what turn it ghastly or prim which i need bad word or good word i need bad adjective which is bad here prim or ghastly yes it's ghastly like horrible or terrible yes that's it so turn the victims normally rosy face a ghastly hue of white that's it number five in a total in a, a totalitarian state people who don't hew or supplant firmly to the party line are likely to find themselves in hot water with the authorities totalitarian states these are dictatorships all right uh, in such states people who don't to the party line who don't want to the party line to the party rules they will be in hot water in danger in uh, horrible trouble or so so the, the clue word here who don't what to the party line to the party rules don't hew or don't supplant yes don't hew firmly to the party line don't strict stick fast don't uh, obey uh, don't adhere to this this one all right you all right this is the way you can act uh, with this page by the way this is uh, page uh, 43 and 44 in your uh, booklet vocab part if you don't have the booklet or you forget it at school and so, and so you can uh, depend on this sheet or this uh, show to um, write to, to read the sentence and answer and from here on these two pages page 43 and 44 and you read the answers only in uh, an outside sheet paper uh, from number you start from number six to number 25 all right this is page 44 all right from number uh, 20 from number three six to number 25 you can see this uh, depend on these two pages here if you don't have the booklet and write only the answers in your uh, in an outside sheet and send them to me on my email or uh, on the LMS uh, you can only write the word the answer the word only for example write in uh, intricate uh, only number so and so uh, ghastly and only the word and send them to me all right this is have a look at the sheet this is uh, the next sheet all right this is the whole one till number 25 all right you can answer um, the synonyms to consolidate your understanding and your work uh, this is an extra part you find a synonym from the 20 words you have studied for every bold typed word for example uh, a prodish way of dress a prodish way of dress if you don't uh, know this word you can use a dictionary all right if anyway uh, this uh, from the, 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 the onomatopoeia of the word I see it is a bad word all right so a prodish way of dress can be what ghastly like this I suppose you can check in the dictionary all right Averted my eyes from the gruesome scene. The gruesome, the gruesome scene. Um, all right. Um, you can use dictionary. Gruesome, but, um, I, I, it is bad thing as well. You can continue the same way around from your uh, vocab items. You memorize. If you don't know the word, you can use a dictionary. All right.
thank you this the this homework is due uh, tonight or tomorrow inshallah thank you very much see you later